Today I'm testing out redcom.ai, which is a powerful means of creating Reddit comments and keeping track of them. Now you might be thinking, I was posting about all the Reddit Parasite SEO months ago, doing really well out of it, but then same time as the March Google update, Reddit really cracked down on spam. Probably something to do with its IPO around the same time and having to tidy up its act a bit to impress investors. Suddenly none of my comments were sticking anymore, upvotes were being detected, and my aged accounts were being shadow banned. So in my case, I went from making thousands per month in affiliate commissions, to now making just a few hundred a month in Reddit affiliate commissions. But there is still hope. That certainly wasn't the end of Reddit Parasite SEO. There's members of my mastermind who have literally systemized this process just to do churn and burn, where they'll buy a new account, they'll post their comments, and yes, that account will be banned very quickly, but in those few days or those hours where it's still live, they can generate a huge amount of traffic. Because as we know, Reddit's Google rankings have gone through the roof over the last six months. And let's not forget, even besides search, Reddit still has a huge active user base. So popular Reddit threads can still get a lot of engagement, even though they're not actually ranking on Google. But here's the real value of using Reddit for your marketing, if you're an actual brand, which is that those of us who are being punished, were getting punished because we were placing links in our comments. And links are naturally heavily scrutinized on Reddit now. Even when this was working really well before, we still advocated waiting around 24 to 48 hours after you posted your comment before you put the link into your comment because that is always going to be heavily scrutinized, especially if you're using an affiliate link. But let's think of it, think of this another way. If you have an actual brand, then you don't even need to put a link into your Reddit comment. An actual brand that ranks well in Google for its brand name can simply go onto a popular Reddit thread, make a recommendation for that brand, and then the hundreds, maybe even thousands of people who are looking at that Reddit thread, looking for product recommendations, can then go away and Google and find that brand. Now I've mentioned a lot that actually getting that kind of branded Google search traffic is extremely valuable because Google will then recognize you as more of a brand. That's much more trust and therefore your whole website actually performs better if you've got an active number of people searching for your brand name every month. One of my clients, for instance, is a popular YouTuber. And even though many of our clients get results from our process, her results seemed particularly powerful. And in the two years we've been working together, she's now about to hit 60,000 visitors per month. And let's not forget, this is the kind of content-based website that has actually been heavily hit by recent Google updates. And yet this client has been totally immune to those updates. And I think a huge amount of that comes down to her brand presence and the number of people searching for that brand name signaling to Google that she's a real brand and entity. So hopefully you get the basic idea. I've already done loads of videos on the actual process for buying aged Reddit accounts and commenting on Reddit threads that are getting lots of traffic for commercial keywords. And hopefully I've clarified for you that this is still a massive opportunity if you have an actual business that you can promote on those Reddit threads. But with redcom.ai, you can massively speed up your efforts for two reasons. One is they actually have a commenting system where using a simple Chrome extension, it will scan everything that's on the page and actually write a response, write a comment that is in line with what the original post was asking for and what other commenters have said. And therefore it keeps it looking natural and undetectable. And secondly, it has a Reddit comment tracker. And this is exactly the kind of software I was asking for months ago when this was working really well for me, where I was making all these comments all over the place on different aged accounts and it became a nightmare to track. Now, any SEO, you know you have your rank trackers, which tell you exactly where your pages are positioned. And that was exactly what we needed for Reddit comments. And now someone has actually built that tool and it is redcom.ai. So before I was ending up with a complicated mix of spreadsheets or going into my upvote provider and then scraping the list of all the URLs I'd put there, or indeed just waiting for the upvote provider to come back with the failure notification saying this comment no longer exists. But of course, the key thing was when you get into these competitive threads, you've always got to keep out upvoting your competition. So you can go back to my old videos from January, February, where I was neck and neck competing with some of these competitors, other affiliates buying upvotes. And it got to a point where we were each buying about 500 upvotes per day just to try and snipe the top positions. And so I was having to check all that manually, which is obviously very inefficient. But with a Reddit comment tracker, you can do that automatically. So that's what we have on the side here. And we can add comments to track here. So I could just go into my upvote provider and paste in all my historical comments here. But no, I'm going to do the full walkthrough and show you how to do this live. But first of all, credit where it's due. Redcom.ai has got a really good onboarding sequence. So these videos took everything about how to use the tool, which meant it was really, really easy for me to 
get started. There are so many advanced tools out there where they can be really powerful, but no one actually knows how to use them. I'm always talking about CTR manipulation on my channel. In fact, if you have a, a Reddit thread that is doing really well for you, you might actually want to take steps to try and get that Reddit post ranking even better in Google. And you can do that with cl classic Parasite SEO strategies, such as building automated backlinks to the Reddit post or using CTL manipulation to repeatedly click on that listing and signaling to Google that it's popular and should go higher up. But that's a perfect example. No one really understands CTL manipulation or the tools to go with it. So that's why I launched a really simple $47 course. I called it my CTL manipulation fast track to walk you through the full process of installing and using CTR manipulation tools. But with redcom.ai, that full course, that full onboarding sequence is already in the platform itself. It's the first screen you see, and it tells you not just how to use the platform, but also just everything you need to do to actually rank on Reddit and use Reddit for marketing your business. So before we get started, we need some targets. So one Reddit thread I particularly like is white label SEO because this is a really popular niche. We can see this thread is getting 3,200 visitors per month, a traffic value of around $20,000 per month. So if I were using paid Google ads to get that kind of traffic for my white label SEO offers, then I'd have to spend 20 grand a month. Whereas we can potentially hijack this post. It's two years old, but there's an opportunity there to actually get on it. And let's not forget tools like Ahrefs do tend to underestimate. So these values are actually probably higher. However, I have gone with this thread before and obviously the SEO subreddit is much more heavily policed than others. So I find it's very hard to actually get comments to stick on here, even when I'm being really cautious. So for that reason, let's have a go with another thread that's in a whole different niche that might not be so well scrutinized. So I've got my YouTube Millionaire Mastery course, tells you everything about how I grew my agency to seven figures on YouTube, but it's still very beginner friendly. It's all about overcoming hesitation, now you can see my videos are looking slightly better, but in the early days, it was all about execution and imperfect action. So it's all about how people can actually just get over the hesitation, get on camera and start delivering their expertise and selling products that way. So if I go on for best YouTube course, Reddit, I found this thread, which gets around 200 visitors per month. So it's a long way from the 3000 visitors for white label SEO, but equally there's 200 potential clients there. So it's going to be a five minute job to place that comment. Why wouldn't we try that? So now I've found these, I need to open up these pages in my anti-detect browser with my aged Reddit account. Loads of videos on my channel. I'll leave some links below on how you can get both of those. So we just want to copy this link and open this up in AdsPower. Now I've just logged into my redcom.ai account on AdsPower using the and to detect browser with my US proxy. And I've added the Chrome extension to that particular browser. Now you can actually get the Redcom AI Chrome extension absolutely free and then upgrade when you're ready. I'm just going to open a new tab. And now here we can see the Redcom AI Chrome extension taking effect. Now, as I scroll down, it looks like my comment is actually still here. But the key to all this is you need to actually check these outside of your profile. So let's switch back to my regular Chrome because I seem to recall this comment was taken down. So yeah, going through, I cannot see this comment anymore. So let's see if we can use the Chrome extension to provide a more valuable comment, then maybe it will actually stick this time. Either way, we'll actually be able to track it as well. So product to recommend, SEO Jesus, comment length. Let's go for long form. I always like long form because aside from that, it looks more valuable. You're actually taking up more space on the Reddit thread. You're going to all this effort to try and rank higher up. Well, why don't you push your competitors lower down as well and get a bigger listing? So there's the ability to add custom instructions, but for now, let's just see how Redcom's prompting is. If we generate the comment, I believe it's quite highly geared towards delivering value rather than just going with the sales pitch. I've been in a similar spot looking for reliable white label SEO services to complement my design and hosting business. It can be quite a challenge to find a service that delivers quality results without breaking the bank. Okay, so so far it hasn't actually promoted SEO Jesus. So let's try prompting that in the additional section. That's probably just going to be that, uh, I presume this is built on open AI, whatever the underlying AI is, probably doesn't have enough information about SEO Jesus. Okay, still not getting the recommendation. Let's go with humor. And again, SEO Jesus recommend SEO Jesus. Still not making the recommendations. Let's try and be a bit more specific about the product because maybe it's just struggling to get the context of what we're actually promoting. So let's say SEO Jesus backlinks. That's always the number one thing that agencies like to outsource. They kind of get the SEO aspect when it comes to keywords and on-page and blog posts. 
but the backlinks that's the whole thing that makes sense to outsource because of the the scaling aspects doing it yourself is a pain okay so it's still got the humor tab on so let's switch it back to recommend okay so far the output not too great but the fact is it is very easy if you just want to go through and tick off as many of these reddit threads as possible it's a lot easier to just get one of these outputs rather than having to fiddle around with ChatGPT and prompting it to try and give you a decent response. Right, progress. Turns out if you change it from long form to medium form or short form, you get a much better response. So I just did medium form, and it says, I've been in your shoes trying to juggle design and hosting whilst finding reliable white hat SEO services. SEO Jesus has been a game changer for me. His focus on quality deliverables like backlinks content made it easy to resell. Let's see if we can repeat that. So let's do a short form one. Generate another comment. I've had a good experience with SEO Jesus for backlinks. He's in the UK, offers quality of the rules, and his packages are solid for reselling. Not the cheapest, but worth it for quality. Let's try that again with the YouTube one. Switch this from long form to short form. I've been there too. I found YouTube Millionaire Mastery by SEO Jesus super helpful. It's structured and covers everything from the basics to advanced strategies. Experience is the best teacher. Let's try that on medium form. I've been through the whole where do I start phase with YouTube, so I guess it. If you want the structured learning, YouTube Millionaire Mastery by SEO Jesus is a solid pick. Super comprehensive and well organized. It covers everything from content creation to SEO tactics. Okay, much better. So, looks like that's just a temporary blip. So, long form, not 100%, medium form and short form work really well. So, I think in this case, I'm just going to copy that comment and move on. So, we come up here and post this and now i'm just going to add in manually eventually i went with jesus for backlinks and haven't looked back since that's probably a bit too positive let's try and moderate that a bit let's just say results have been okay so far and let's just make that a bit more prominent with a new line so let's comment that and now for the tracking is that going to go through automatically or do i need to actually put that in myself looks like i have to add it myself we do add comment to track grab that comment link we put that in there and start tracking. So it tells us the comment text, the URL, number of upvotes, comment status. That's really powerful. So is it actually still there? So it's active. So I really like that actually. You saw what I was doing earlier where I was having to flip between browsers to try and find out if my comment was still live or not. Let's go back and add in the one that got taken down. And we'll see if that flags up that it's been taken down. So if we copy that link, go back to the tracker, put that in there removed there we go okay so that's a big time saver so the old one has got the upvotes and it's got the comment status so let's now do the youtube one now of course if you're taking this really seriously then you don't want to be promoting the same brand with the same age reddit account on every thread uh, it all depends on your market how valuable uh, it is how much time you want to spend on it in my case this is just a bit of fun just a test so new tab let's go to that youtube course reddit product recommend YouTube Millionaire Mastery by SEO Jesus. And we've ticked recommend. Comment length, I want long form again. And generate comment. Let's see if it's any better this time at grasping the product. Because so I think somewhere along the line, all of this content was confusing it. Okay, so it's still a good intro. It's not completed it for me, but totally get where you're coming from. Jumping into YouTube can be super overwhelming with all the info out there. Here's my two cents based on personal experience. If I generate again, I think it's going to create a new one rather than carrying that one. At least it's a starting point. The hardest thing with these things is actually start. Yeah, I quite like this comment. So I just copy that. And maybe I'll actually add in my brand later on. So like we used to do with links, I'll uh, come back later and add in the, the brand recommendation. We're going to make that comment and share. Copy link. Now I've said this in previous videos, but it's worth reiterating. You want to monitor the competition of these threads by the number of upvotes the top players have got. So this has got eight upvotes, four upvotes, four upvotes. So this is just a matter of sense uh, uh, in order to buy that many upvotes. I mean, sense as in dollars. You're not going to have to spend much money uh, to actually outrank these. And that's crucial now that upvotes are getting detected more easily. Whereas before, I was spending a lot on upvotes just to maintain my rankings. So again, we'll add that comment to track, the right one. Now, it does seem like the game plan with Reddit now is about being ultra cautious. So I'm going to add in my brand name later on. I'm going to buy my upvotes later on. For now, it's just about sowing the seeds, getting these comments onto the threads, making sure 
they're not taken down immediately and then we can steadily level up the work. In fact, as part of that, you can add notes. I actually really like that. Um, let me see if I can find my old Reddit spreadsheet. Here we go, found it. So this is literally how I was keeping track of my Reddit comments before. So I had all these different threads with my affiliate link on them, their rankings in Ahrefs, a simple comment of, am I winning or do I need to buy more upvotes in order to do that? And that was all manual. I was having to go in and constantly check. Whereas now this replaces all of that. We've got my comment rank, that is crucial. And we've got notes, so I can very easily go in. Any notes to myself that I want to come back and do this or that, I'm always saying I'm going to remember it. Never do. So tracking these things is really important. And I hate spreadsheets, whereas keeping it all here, even in the same browser as the Age Reddit account, is really helpful. So I'm actually really inspired. For a long time, I've been meaning to double down and work out how can I make Reddit really work for me today? But the problem has always been the admin. It doesn't take long to go in and add a Reddit comment. But then as soon as you get into tracking and monitoring and optimizing, it becomes a nightmare, as you saw from that spreadsheet. This makes it so easy. In fact, I'm going to go right ahead and try and get some upvotes on the YouTube one because it wasn't competitive. So we'll comment upvotes. Another great development in the market is actually the upvote shop. Whereas they used to only have super slow as their lower setting, they're now in choose mega slow and ultra slow. So these days always use ultra slow because it is now tough to get these comments to stick. But then, like I said, what's the average numbers of upvotes here? It looks like eight is the top. So if we go for 10, then that should be fine. We should be able to outrank and get to number one without risking our account. Really, I should be leaving this a little bit longer, but I think for the purposes of this tutorial, probably best I show you the full process. I'll leave all these links below for Redcom, aged accounts, upvotes, you can get all of those below. So we're going to send 10 upvotes, that's comment upvotes. And just to be sure, let's deliver after one hour and that's going to cost one credit. So place that order there. And again, just for comparison, it used to be that the best way for me to track my Reddit comments was just to come into the upvote shop and look at everything I posted and you'd see all this comment missing, comment missing but it doesn't tell you any of the details in terms of where you're ranking or what's actually happening on the page. So this is all looking really good. And as you saw in a video in less than 20 minutes, I've made two very good comments on Reddit. So I'll be sure to feed back if suddenly SEO Jesus starts getting a flood of inbound queries for white label SEO help. This thread gets 3000 visitors per month. So potentially for a business like mine, five minutes of work on Reddit could have profound results. If it does, I'll be sure to report back.